All right, welcome back to a new episode of Adventure Unlimited. Well, we have finally gone and done it. We have bought ourselves a four-wheel drive in Cambodia. Not just any four-wheel drive though, an absolutely jacked 80 series. Yep, full Cambodian styles. <laughs> Six inch lift, 37s on big Maxxis Trebidors. You should guess where we're gonna go. So we are out shooting an episode at the moment that'll be up in a few weeks, but in the meantime, we're gonna take you and show you around the rig, show you what's good, what's not, and uh, what we're gonna do in the future with it. All right guys, this is what we've got now. This is what we started with, pretty much. It's got pretty standard ARB bull bar. Fancy ass LED lights. Come around inside, not sure, pretty sure maybe it's ARB. Some um, scrub bars and some rock sliders, side steps. And these big dirty ass 37s. So sitting on a six inch lift with some remote res shocks. Not sure on the brand. Yeah, cruising down, nothing. Nothing exciting really about the exterior. She's a bit rough, but it's got to be expected. She's falling off. Checked over it for a rust. Got a little rust hole here, but overall it's not too bad. Expected what's to be expected over here in the wet conditions. Yeah, pretty similar on the rear, six inch. It's got all the adjustable arms and everything. I think four, four link, five link. No, I'm not a suspension guy, really. Not with this type of stuff. Though. <laughs> but it's got all the fruit on it by the looks of it. Up top, it's got a pretty basic roof rack. Threw a bit of solar up there just to keep the fridge running. Remnants of fashion for the jungle. <laughs> yeah, on the back of it, it's just got a twin swing out carrier with a, a bumper. Not sure of the brand, but you know, you gotta slap it. You know, it's good. What about our um, nice uh, bin bag? Oh, yeah. <laughs> got a nice bin bag. We'll upgrade that at some point. Get another Jerry on there. Spare 37 on the back. Brand spewy. Some more bin bag behind there. <laughs> but yeah, it's all rough and ready to go. All right, now on to under the bonnet. Got the big 24 valve 1HD FT. I keep getting confused. There's too many little FTEs and the 1HD, D, blah, blah, blah. Sorry. It's got the twin batteries. Um, nothing too exciting. Factory turbo. Checked over it. Fuel leaks, nothing substantial. But it's good. So we're going to use the, hopefully use the second battery as our dual battery, but it's got a 24 volt starter motor, so can't do that. On to the very first modification we did to it, which we thought we'd 100% need out here. We went to Iron Man and we got ourselves a Iron Man 1,200-pound synthetic rope winch. So we got the car fully serviced as soon as we got it, um, and at the same time we're going to throw a winch into it. So guaranteed we'll be needing that. So yeah, on inspection just before we come on this trip, it's just doing a bit of a whip around. I noticed that they're missing four of the M12 bolts at the bottom of the bull bar. They've got four. MA bolts on the side, but not the other ones. So, hit up 80 series wrecker over here and he sent me some bolts, but a couple of threads are a bit iffy, so now I'm gonna have to get tap, tap them out, chuck them in. So, if we have to winch, it's gonna be a real gentle one. <laughs> <laughs> Onto the interior, nothing too exciting. Um, it came with a double DIN touchscreen stereo, which wasn't working, so I just swapped it out like for like. A little cheapy in there. Got the old Jesus bar, which is actually pretty comforting. <laughs> I would say, I don't know if you realise or not, but 80% of the time while I'm driving, you're holding that. It's comfortable to hold, like I gotta hold something. <laughs> the, uh, the old air con vent doesn't work, but we've got ourselves a little beer ring pull. Yeah, it just flaps down so it doesn't open. Hold one, that in place. One over here has got a bit of cardboard jammed into it, but it is an old car, so you expect stuff like that to fall apart over time. But yeah, it's got 
sport and normal suspension buttons, which I'm guessing doesn't work on this aftermarket suspension. <laughs> so sport. Center diff lock, automatic, high and low. Center console, handbrake, that doesn't do anything. Standard Land Cruiser. Yeah. Onto the back seat. This is our carton beer holder. Fits in there perfectly. They're all empty. There, we just folded the rear seats up and we've thrown the angle fridge in there. It's, it's pretty jam packed at the moment as we're doing a five, six day trip. So, this is nothing too fancy at the moment. In the back, our mess. She's loaded up. Pretty lucky we got a um, rough set of drawers that old mate built. Do the job. He's got a false floor. Drawers only go back about this far. And then he's got two little open sections. And um, I've chucked the second battery. It's running off the solar in there. So he's got tools and some spare parts we'll throw in there. But yeah, that's the back. A little bit of the underneath. So it's got some strength, strengthened panard and tie rod bars, but we had to take the tie rod bar out because all the linkages were seized. So we've got it back at home and I'll clean it up and chuck that back in. Uh, it's got a steering dampener. Standard old 80 series, except for all the lift components. They get all the lowering blocks in for the lift and there's droppers for the radius arms to give the correct correct <laughs> yeah to correct the radius arms that's the <laughs> oh, yeah leaky transmission our leaky transfer case front diff doesn't leak i think that's the only thing it's got oil in it that doesn't leak at the moment there just this all the suspension's still pretty dirty, so all the adjustable links they've put in here. As I'm saying, I'm not an expert on all this type of suspension. I'm a leafy boy <laughs> back at home, so. Rear diff does have a leak. Uh, there's a crack in the housing. Yeah, we'll go around the back and I'll show you that. So yeah, we've got a little, you can see that there's two welds here already and a bit of oil. It's not leaking bad. Yeah, it's just a little, I'm guessing one of these welds have cracked again so might source another diff housing or might get it welded up see how bad it is yeah because so when we bought it the rear diff was completely seized yeah so the lsd the clutch inside the lsd had locked up so i was thinking maybe they'd run non-lsd oil and it's bound up but now i'm thinking it could possibly be that and the fact that they maybe run it dry but when we did by the car, I inspected every spot that it could leak, and the only really oil I could see was from the engine, which I could deal with. It's an old car, but now the transmission's leaking quite bad, and there's that crack in the diff, so. But, it's what's to be expected over here. I didn't think we were gonna be getting a car that was 100%, especially this old. Yeah, well, maintenance is not, um... Not quite the same philosophy over here and the car has changed hands a bunch of times so hmm. do also have some signs of um that diff leaking there's just a little paper seal behind there which is pretty common for them to leak yeah so. and they would have when they when they freed up the diff they would have pulled that out and i doubt they put new ones in when they did that so we got a, we got a, a custom exhaust system <laughs> which I don't think we will be able to run back in Australia. <laughs> nice little side dumping right out the driver's door. It's got a muffler, so it's not actually that loud. It's actually surprisingly really quiet. So the muffler's right here. Straight out the turbo, into the muffler, straight out the side. <laughs> it soots pretty good, but so. So yeah, that's the rig. Brief little rundown. Now, 80 series beast. We, um, haven't really given it a name yet. 
I don't really name cars, but if you think we should give it a name, drop a name in the comments. Give us some ideas. All right, guys, so that's what we're going to be doing all of our adventuring in. Uh, we have done a couple of trips so far, so stay tuned for that. If you do want to see more of our adventures in this vehicle, make sure you smash that subscribe button. We'll catch you in the next one. It's got the uh, big 24 valve 1HD FE. 1HD FT. FT, oh yeah. Now onto the... Doing a Tyler Thompson. Hey? Doing a Tyler Thompson. <laughs> Now onto the bonnet, now onto the bonnet. <laughs> so on the It's all nice and yellow, which is cool. 